trainers and I actually very rarely wear them but I'm at a client and they have a lot of muddy trainers and whenever I hoover they into a few room lots of mud and it goes everywhere so to make my own life easier I'm going to clean them they're all muddy because they have a proper runner who runs in mud and I don't want this mud to get into the washing machine because it will sink to the bottom of the, the tubes like it will in these so I'm going to try and get off as much mud as I can before they go in the machine I'm going to go into a bed in a minute but the first thing I'm going to do is just leave them to soak in cold water just to soften up the mud that's there and then when they've soaked for 40 minutes I'll come and I'll get off as much loose mud as I can before they go in the machine and all I need to do for that is just let them soak and get them wet the problem is trying to sort of float terribly but so there's the first half get them in I don't quite know how many you can put in and they do indeed have a very fancy new washing machine that has a drying rack in the tumble dryer and all that stuff but I won't use that I'll just put them by the hogger to dry because I doubt if any of you have a brand new washing machine I certainly don't anyway there we go that's the beginning of it just making sure they're all wet and that mud can soften up for a while these have just been soaking um, you can see what's come off this is what you want to avoid when you're washing things covered in mud is this stuff is heavy and it will sink to the bottom of whatever you're doing it in and eventually it will cause a clog and you don't really want that um, and it's really abrasive as well now they're not clean but what i've done is i've got not enough of the mud off the bottom of that but i've got most of the mud off the bottom because it's soaked and it's soft so that won't go in the machine actually i will give these another go now they've sat i'm just going to scrub these and then the laundry that's currently in the machine will go and once the worst is off of all of this lot i shall put them in and we shall see how that goes now this is a new washing machine and i'm not familiar with it and I want to do something that's not going to agitate it too much because it's not for the trainers, it's for the washing machine. I don't want the bearings uh, that support it to come to any difficulty. So I'm going to use a wool wash because as I've said before, wool washes don't agitate too much because they don't want to upset there, I also haven't put all the trainers in. Again, it's not for the trainers, this is for the machine's sake. I just want it to agitate them in soapy water for a bit and not spoil itself. I also need it quite cool because the problem with trainers is the difficulty with the glue coming undone. So I am, I'm going to put it on a much cooler wash. Yeah, there we go. I'll put it on 30. 30 is lukewarm. It won't upset the glue. Well, at least I hope it won't upset the glue. Um, but it'll just give them a bathe. Press start. Come on. I want you to start. This is a new machine. Come on. Please, please start. Please go. Why? OK, there we go. There we are. It's locked and it's going. You see? And the other ones I'm just leaving to soak in here. Every little helps. I'm not sure how well these will all turn out, but at least they won't have mud. And I suspect some of these aren't being worn because they were so muddy, they were uncomfortable. And more importantly, I won't have to keep hoovering up the mud that's under the shoe rack because it will all be somewhere else. So let's wait a while and see what happens. Okay, this is the end result with the first batch of trainers. And now all I'm going to do is leave them. I'm not going to... I know uh, this particular tumble dryer has a rack that you can put in to dry them, but I don't know how to use it. Um, and these are obviously all designed. I'm not going to put them... I'm putting them next to the Yaga where it's warm, but I'm not going to put them too close to it. I mean, I know those are, but because, as I've said before, it's not... The heat will possibly remove some of the glue and obviously these are all very synthetic things and made of lots of different sorts of plastic um, so i'm just going to leave them like that and then they will dry and i'm just going to make sure they're pulled into shape uh, but i'm not going to stuff them with paper you can do um, but a i haven't got any and b none of them are sufficiently misshapen to to really need it i'm just going to kind of you know, straighten them out with my fingers and open up the open up the gussets a bit so they'll dry 
and hopefully those will be much more comfortable and now we'll get some more wear.